communities aren't defined the way they used to be. Throughout history, one of the big trends is the redefinition of the size of community. It has been, started out, how far could you walk? How far away could you, know, you conduct business? It was, a, you know, it was a walk, and then it was a wagon trip, and then it was a horse trip, and each time the size of the entity got larger and larger. Well, we now live in an era in which you can communicate instantly anywhere, anytime, travel virtually instantly anywhere, anytime, move anything anywhere, anytime, and that means that the definition of community needs to change, but we haven't changed it. We all have a different set of rules for the communities in which we live compared to the community of the world at large. We have different expectations, and we need to change that. And then we need to reflect that somehow institutionally in enterprises that can counterbalance without quashing the things that work in markets that motivate people to succeed. And the reason I'm worried about this particular problem is that if we don't recognize that inequality is unsustainable and we don't move forward in this regard, then other people are going to capitalize on it. And the Chavez's and the Ahmadinejad's and the Putin's and, and others. I mean, you know, we had this wacky idea, blessed in academia 10 years ago, that we had arrived at the end of history, that we had solved all the big problems of the world, even though the problem that had divided us for 200 years was how do you get the equitable distribution of wealth in society. And we had thought that we had solved those problems, but in fact... It's still dogging us. We haven't solved it. And this is no reason to believe that we live in the only time in the history of the earth that there will be one philosophy and another will not emerge as a competing alternative. And if one emerges as a competing alternative and we seem insensitive to these issues, it will gain strength. And if it gains strength and momentum and some people associated with this group see it as in their interest to ally themselves with that, we are going to have tensions and divisions in the world ahead that are unnecessary and unproductive and may, in fact, result in a substantial deviation from what your expectations are as far as your lives and futures and careers going forward. 